Conspiracy theories. There's a lot of different theories out there on what the world is truly like. And I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you are curious about the answer. Well, a lot of these questions. You know, some of them I don't really give a fuck about them, to be honest. But today I'm ranking a bunch of conspiracy theories that I could think of, and I'm just gonna rate them based on how true I think they are. Disclaimer, please don't take this video super seriously. I I'm not a scholar or a philosopher in any way. I'm just a dumbass making videos in his room. All right, A. Aliens? I'm saying S tier, bro. Listen, there's gotta be some kind of extraterrestrial being out there. There's no way. Because the universe is so vast. Like, it makes me think what else is out there? We have only discovered... You know what? Let me look it up real quick so I don't sound dumb. We have discovered only 5% of the universe. So what we've seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. So there's gotta be like some weird mutants out there. Do I think the aliens are ever gonna come to Earth? I don't know. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to witness them in person but like i don't know how dangerous these dudes are they probably got like some super advanced technology that could wipe out humans as a species i don't know what they're cooking up in the lab over there but i probably don't want to know and they most likely have no idea we exist either they're probably on like some crazy ass planet light years away but shit, we'll see what happens i guess but for now i'm putting this shit in s tier all right i believe it there's got to be something out there flat earth theory i'm putting this shit in f tier dog I, there's no way the earth is flat how would we even be able to survive the gravity would be all fucked up and if you were to like sail all the way to the end of the earth you would just fall off the earth i don't really know how the theory works when it comes to gravity but what would we gain by not knowing the earth is flat if it really was that's what i'm confused about because if they know about aliens right obviously they wouldn't tell people because they don't want people to freak out but about the earth being flat i don't know it's just these tinfoil hat dudes that think the government is plotting on us i've encountered a tinfoil hat dude myself and he told me about flat earth theory and about how 5g towers were mind control so he wears a tinfoil hat to protect himself from it and i was a cashier so i was not getting paid enough to see that shit but yeah flat earth is going in f tier and that brings me right to my next one actually government mind control why would the government fucking mind control people like i'd understand like wanting to keep people calm and like under control but what i'm confused about is you can think for yourself. You're not forced to think anything. Even if you think the government is plotting on your downfall or some shit. I, I don't know, man. You do you. I'm trying to live my life in peace. I don't want to think about that. And even if there was mind control, how the hell would a tinfoil hat protect you? Like, I use that shit to wrap my sandwiches. You really think it's gonna stop mind control waves or whatever you're saying? Some of you might be like, those people are onto something, but me personally, I don't see the vision here. It's going in F tier. Next, we have Mark Zuckerberg being a lizard. I believe it. S tier. Just look at him. He's clearly hiding something. Okay, I'm just kidding. He's not a lizard. But I don't know how the hell people came up with this theory. I mean, in some photos, he does look weird as hell, but I don't know. A lot of these are probably photoshopped. I don't think majority of these are real, but I don't know. It just became a theory that was so widely spread to the point where people were spamming it in his chat and asking him if he was a lizard during his live q and I think this was in like 2016. Mark, are the allegations true that you are secret a lizard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no on that. But yeah, Mark Zuckerberg being a lizard, I, I guess I'll put it in D tier. I'm putting way too many in F tier so far. The moon landing being fake. I'm sure a lot of people may have differing opinions on this. I mean, I guess it could be. There's no 100% proof that it is. But again, I really don't know what they would gain by faking it. Or maybe to show that they're ahead of other countries technologically. I mean, that could have been the reason. But there's been a lot of back and forth about this. Like some people are saying the pictures look fake and why have we never went back to the moon but i really don't know what to believe about this one so i'll put it in c tier next we have dead internet theory and a lot of you might be like what is dead internet theory i mean i literally just heard about this yesterday but pretty much what it is is that a lot of accounts on the internet are mainly bots like there's more bots on the internet than there is actual people and i believe it honestly because sometimes i look at plays on music and i'm like there's no way this shit was played that many times like labels have to be botting that shit. Or sometimes, bro, you'll see bots, like, in my comments section. Like, there's some bots that are, like, weird as hell, but they always find a way back and that shit pisses me off. Or sometimes you'll see, like, these NPC ad generic comments. Only true insert YouTuber fans can like this comment. Or claim your one hour ticket. I don't know how many times I've seen that. And they're in, like, every YouTuber's comment section. So that's why I look at these comments and I'm like, there's no way there can be a real person with real emotions behind that comment. 
comment because I've seen it a thousand fucking times, bro. I don't want to see that shit again. But I'm sure majority of the people on earth use the internet. But regardless, though, I'll put it in A tier. You know, I still kind of believe it. Now we got to talk about simulation theory. Now, I think I discussed this in one of my videos before, I'm pretty sure. And the whole concept of this theory is, are our lives simulated? Like, is there some sort of higher being controlling our every move? Like, are we playing The Sims while we're also in a simulation? I don't know, honestly. I mean, this theory is kind of out of left field. I mean, there is some kind of reasoning that people have to believe this due to quantum mechanics. I don't even know what the hell that is. But if I sat here and explained it to you, you would all click off the video. So I guess my mind is too puny to understand the concept of simulation theory. You know what? I'm gonna put that one in D tier and yeah, the Mark Zuckerberg one's going down in F tier. Why the fuck did I even put that one there? Like, I don't really see the vision that much, but I do gotta say there are some bots out there. Like, I look at some people sometimes and I'm like, there's no way this person is real. I just refuse to believe it sometimes. But then again, people are probably at the same thoughts about me. Are smartphones spying on you? I mean, technically they know everywhere you're going they know everything about you so yes but are they listening in on like conversations you have or are they spying on like private information i don't know and if they are spying on me what are they gonna do when they see me have a whole fucking concert in my bedroom i'm screaming my lungs out singing ken carson or some shit maybe they do but i mean a lot of the reasons why they take this information from you is for advertising purposes they want to get as much information out of you as possible that's why whenever i say something in a video a certain ad ad plays for you because they think you're interested in that topic, which is so weird. I don't know why. So let me try something. You guys should eat at Arby's. Arby's is amazing. Arby's is the greatest food chain on the globe and Arby's has the meats pause. I want to see if you guys actually get an ad for Arby's. That would be pretty funny. But my opinion on Arby's, that shit is fucking trash. Phone spying on you, computer spying on you, whatever. I'll put it in B tier, all right? It's got some validity to it. Next, we got to talk about medicine. Now, a lot of people like to say that the entire medical industry is like out to get you or whatever, but I don't think that's the case. But what I do think is the case, sometimes they like to give you shit you really don't need. Like, for example, when I was a kid, I used to go to this one dentist's office. My my ass was too focused on the little GameCube thing that was in the waiting room. So I didn't really care or understand what was going on at the time. But basically what my mom had told me was it would have cost me like $10,000 to get braces because of all this extra bullshit I didn't need. And of course I was like, wow, okay, what the f I'm glad we left because Jesus Christ, I'm not paying 10 bands for braces. That's crazy. I got to drop a whole semester worth of student loans on braces but this one it all really depends on where you go to because some places it could feel like you're getting scammed out of your money i really don't know the answer to this one honestly but in general though some shit in like the medical industry is super expensive so i'm just gonna put it in c tier next we have the secret society theory now pretty much this theory states that there's a group of individuals that know a lot more information than we do and they do activities or like rituals that are concealed from the public and a secret society tends to favor its members it's exclusive and people were saying like the Illuminati was a secret society but honestly what I do think there may not be like this secret society we don't know about but there is a hundred percent something weird going on with celebrities I mean just look at P Diddy and I've heard a lot about people selling their soul in the industry and shit like that so there's definitely some kind of weird power dynamic in entertainment industries that's what I can say for sure as for like rich Rituals, I don't really know anything about that, but there's definitely sh** going on behind the scenes that we do not know about. So for that, I'm putting it in S tier. Some people are so desperate for money and power, they'll literally do anything for it, even if it involves P. Diddy. All right, let me chill, let me chill. Area 51. Okay, we gotta talk about this. There is 100% shit that we could have never imagined behind those doors at Area 51. It became such a meme in 2019 that people actually wanted to storm Area 51 to straight Naruto run to towards it. Like, dude, do you know what kind of deadly weapons are in there? I don't want to step anywhere near that shit. But another theory that people have is that they're also like hiding aliens in Area 51. And I mean, that could be a possibility. And again, I don't think the government would want people to know that because they're going to start freaking out that there's like a fucking portal gun and an alien in Area 51. But yeah, for Area 51, I'm putting it in A tier. There's got to be some crazy shit in there. But the craziest theory of them all, listen up, guys. You are not ready for the greatest conspiracy conspiracy ever conceived of, Nikocado Avocado Theory. 
He faked the weight loss. He faked it all. Okay, I don't know if he did anymore, but this dude lost all the weight and read a Batman monologue and then made a video claiming that it was all fake. He made a video calling us ants and saying he was two steps ahead in 2022. I made a YouTube video and I said, I'm two steps ahead. My whole life is premeditated. And what was the result of that video? Millions of people believed it. So maybe it was a video from then and he was talking about 2022. I don't know. But that looked just like Nicholas Avocado. So I'm very confused. But I feel like in a few weeks, Nick is going to come back skinny again. So I don't know. All right. I'm putting Nicholas Avocado theory in its own tier. All right. It's the greatest theory ever made. Okay. I know that it's nothing to do with conspiracy theories, but I thought it'd be pretty funny if I talked about it. Honestly, some of them I either forgot, didn't really care to talk about, or were just way too controversial to put in a YouTube video. But if you're somebody that's like super interested in like theories and how the world works and stuff like that, check out this video I made about afterlife theories. Just click on it.